Despina is an art organization based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and we run a residency program and we also have studios for both local artists and the artists taking part in our residency program. And we also have an exhibition space. And we try to build these exhibitions uh, around a public, a public program around these exhibitions as well. So people understand more better the context of the exhibition and the artists they are showing there. So we always have public talks and we always have guided visits. We also run some courses. The work we do is really relevant because there aren't many spaces like ours in Brazil where you can see young and emerging artists, uh, where you can see artists actually producing work and then you can see final products or final artworks or works in progress uh, in the same space. Um, it's also very relevant because it's very rarely we get to see young and emerging artists in Brazil, um, so it's a great opportunity for local people to get to understand and know more and network with international artists and, and also for the international artists to understand more about our context and about um, the, lo the work local artists are doing. We are a very young organization, we have been running for three and a half years only and during this time we have hosted about 60 artists from over 15 countries in our residency program. But we have uh, hosted very few artists from um, Latin America or from Brazil. We have worked with the Prince Klaus for the first time two years ago and that was to run a, uh, the Run Rio Art Connection project and through it we hosted four Iranian artists in Rio for a residency program, a number of public programs, uh, school visits, talks and studio visits and also a final exhibition with the works produced by them during the residency. And that was a great opportunity for Brazilian audience to get to know and to get to see art produced, contemporary art produced in Iran. We are now uh, collaborating with the Prince Klaus Fund again in a project that will bring artists and activists from Latin America to Brazil. And this is really relevant because although we imagine Latin America as a region that is connected somehow, there isn't really many chances of exchange uh, between artists and activists throughout the region. So this would be a great opportunity for both sides to learn more about each other's context and also to understand better what one another what's happening in others other countries and also to see of course uh, talented artists from Latin America um, in Brazil young talented artists from Latin America in Brazil I think th through the network partnership with the Prince Claus Fund we have had the chance to connect with uh, many amazing organizations from uh, the global south and these connections are really a learning curve for all of us I think. We can learn so much from one another, we can exchange so much, we can build collaborations and uh, it's been really a great learning curve for me and for our organization as well to see how others, how do they work, how do they manage to work within their context and how we can um, also uh, share with them our experience so they can also take something out of us. I think for all of us meeting here in Vietnam has been an incredible experience, not only to see more about the, the amazing work that Sun Art is doing here locally, but also to get to meet all the faces that are behind this work that we have heard so much about and also to understand more about their local context and not only that but to get to share and spend time with all the network partners so we're having a full agenda of uh, meetings and discussions and studio visits, we have uh, been visiting uh, art spaces and institutions and these connections usually they don't take place if you don't have 
a driving force behind them, uh, such as the Network Partnership and the Prince Claus Fund.